just finished uh, day four of the Tour Auto, so uh, we're here for the final night service. Today was a slightly different day to yesterday. We had one track in the morning, we went to Sherard, and then two special stages, uh, one at lunchtime and one at the end of the day. Um, I did the race at Sherard, started from the back of the grid because we'd missed the race at Manicourt on day two when we had our problems with the diff, um, which was quite a challenge because I've never been to Sherard before, which is a wonderful, wonderful circuit but in the pouring rain, quite a, quite a challenge to learn. Uh, starting from the back, finished fourth in the end, which was really good fun. It was, it was really satisfying to do that. Then we went on to the next special stage um, and uh, we won that in the VHC. Uh, and then at the end of the day, I think we finished third in the last special stage, which was really exciting. Um, the two special stages today were just fantastic. Really like great, great conditions, great surfaces really really nice great pace notes as well both of them um, which second, is I think we were. second we were second there apologies um, and yeah and a lot of miles we started at 8 a.m we didn't get here in, in, in tour until 9 30 p.m so i think we've done on the road about 600 kilometers yeah, something like that today which sort of flies by but when you look at a five hour stage you can't quite believe it but uh, yeah no it's been great it's been great really good day really looking forward to tomorrow just, uh, yeah, we've got Le Mans, Bugatti circuit, and then two more special stages, and then hopefully a bit of a party in the evening. Today's been a bit of a, a, bit of a, 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 a mix of mishaps by some of the drivers. So La Genard, who was leading the rally from pretty much the end of day one after we had our problem at Dijon, um, on the first special stage today, he, on about the third corner, just must have lost it in the damp conditions and put it in the ditch and damaged his steering. So he's out the event now, which is unusual for him to make a mistake. Um, and uh, Mark and Nigel, who are in the Green Cobra, who are you know, really doing really well high up in the runnings on the last special stage, we came, came round at 90 left and they were in the ditch, up in the air, spinning their wheels, trying to get out of the field, which they couldn't get out of. So it looked like it was over for them in terms of penalties. But actually, after the stage, they got some help from some brawny locals and managed to get out of the field. I think they probably lost about four or five minutes on that stage. So it'll be interesting to see where they are in terms of the overall results tonight. But I think the Alain that won last yeah, yeah. year is probably it's winning overall, which is amazing for... By a minute, I think, yeah. or a minute, minute and a half. Amazing for a, for a little car. It's, you know, just, just goes to show you just got to be consistent, stay out of trouble and relatively quick because they've not won any races or won any... I think they won one special stage overall, but, you know, they've, they've always been near the front, but not at the front. front but. Obviously, the old adage you've got to, you know, to, in order to be first, first you have to finish. And uh, three more stages yeah. tomorrow. And yeah, they've got three stages. I mean, we well know from last year that things can go wrong on the second last stage when you've got a five minute lead. So, you know, we'll see what happens tomorrow. But really looking forward to finishing the event. And yeah, I've had a great couple of days. Cars, fantastic. We're really getting to grips with little changes we're making here and there. Um, even tonight, we're making more setup changes. So, yeah, it's a real test ready for next year. So we have to come back. Que me toquen un porro sabanero, que me toquen un porro es lo que quiero, que me toquen un porro.